Welcome back to the What's Cooking program, the nation's food, wine, restaurant, and travel show. I'm Michael Horn. That's Paul Stern. Joining us now is Sherry Sotomorano. She is uh, one of only four American women to hold the prestigious title of Master of Wine. Sherry, welcome to the broadcast. Thank you. Thanks so much for having me this morning. So tell us about this. What does that title mean, the uh, Master of Wine? What do you have to do and uh, what kind of studies did you have to go to achieve that title? Well, the Master of Wine is an old British trade designation that's actually considered the highest level of academic certification that you can obtain within the wine trade. And it's, uh, it's after kind of uh, a long period of independent study and you spend a lot of time um, there are some certifications that you can obtain through the Wine and Spirit Education Trust that lead into the Master of Wine. And then for the exam, it's a four-day exam of tasting and essay writing. And then after the exam is finished, you have a dissertation that you have to write as well. Now, it, how is this different than, let's say, a Master Sommelier, the very highest level of that? Right. Well, the Master Sommelier is much more geared towards the restaurant trade and towards restaurant service. Uh, and it includes aspects of, of restaurant service that um, uh, are a little different from what the Master of Wine, what the MW focuses on. Um, so they, they kind of differ in, in terms of the MW was a, originated as a British trade designation, whereas the Master Sommelier um, was designed to help people in the restaurant trade. Gotcha. Okay, so so you study, you'd have to take a test, you have to write a dissertation. So this is more yeah. on the education process. And now, how many total... Uh, masters of wine are there in the world? Well, there are, I think at last count, either 279 or 280 of us in the world. Total, and are, that's it. Total, yes, total, that's it. And there are 25 of us in the U.S., uh, and then there are uh, three or four now in Canada. Wow. So, so there are four women in the United States. So now what do you do? Do you go around uh, uh, teaching classes? Do you go around uh, helping us uh, when we try to learn about wines? Uh, what I is do, your role now? Uh, I do a lot of educational work. My main job, though, is I work as the spokesperson for Wines of France here in the U.S. And so oh, wow. what I do is I get uh, I have the pleasure of working with French wines and educating American consumers about French wines, uh, specifically about French wines that are great for everyday drinking, that are value wines, that are quality educate wines us. that are, are under $20. Give us some under 20 samples and educate us. Give us some examples. Sure. Well, I have an entire list of 50 wines that are oh. great picks for summer that you can find on my website, which is wines-france.us. Wait a minute. It's um, wines dash french wines hyphen France, wines with an S, hyphen France dot U.S. And what I do is I put together a list of 50 wines that are all under $20. And these are wines that are great for everyday drinking. They're wines that are perfect for entertaining, great for summer barbecues. You can find everything from um, a beautiful Cabernet Sauvignon from um, the south of France, uh, the Domaine de Cantoral that is perfect for pairing with a, a great steak, to, um, I've got a beautiful um, Beaujolais Blanc. A, um, uh, in fact, I think that's the wine that uh, that you guys might have received, the the Chardonnay, the Terre d'Ore. I don't think we have the wine here. I don't, no? I don't know if it was sent or not. Otherwise, we'd be tasting with you. Oh, you, you should check. It's, it's a great wine. It's a, a terrific value. It's a beautiful Chardonnay. Um, and that would be great for serving with, say, a grilled salmon. Ch or Cherry, is it fair to say that America's uh, taste for French wine is something that really kind of has never wavered? It's just uh, kind of, it's just, it, it, Americans' taste has just expanded. Yes, well, you know, America is still growing as a wine-drinking nation, and I think, you know, one of the exciting things is to look at all the different wine industries in the different states that are, are popping up these days, and um, there's just a general enthusiasm for wine. I think, you know, people really recognize French wines for their diversity, their quality, um, their, their tradition, and, you know, now more than ever you can find such a wide range, too, of great um, affordable We're going to find wines. out more. We're going to have you back because we want to find out more and we're out of time. Give us your website one more time, Sherry Sotomorano. Sure, wines-france.us. All right, they're all there on the website. We'll have the link on our website at crntalk.com. Thank you all for joining us. We're out of time. Check out our website. The links are all there at crntalk.com. Eat well, everybody.